Bishop John Quinn with the Diocese of Winona, which covers every single Catholic church in the southern part of Minnesota, from the South Dakota border to the Wisconsin border. Bishop Quinn, a lot of big changes for all of us. But with the Catholic Church, I know that you have canceled public services. At this point, we have, we are following the directives really of the Center for Disease Control, as well as the governor of our state to limit any public assemblies. In fact, I think the number is about 10 people. So in order to prevent the transmission of the virus, to protect our people and to keep them safe, I uh, had to take a very difficult decision, uh, which was to suspend the public celebration of mass, but only because we want to uh, slow down the transmission of the coronavirus and also keep our people as safe and healthy as we can. Yeah, and that's so understandable. Bishop, it's hard for so many people. The anxiety levels continue to rise as new um, mandates keep coming out on the federal level and on the state level. What are you telling your people? Uh, sometimes church is, is the one thing and faith is the one thing people are clinging to. I would say that the message that we are trying to convey to our people is don't be afraid. Uh, Jesus Christ is with his church. He's with us. And the providential care of the Lord guides all the events of this world. The Lord is with us. And by faith and by prayer, we stay united with that Lord who is going to help see us through this. So we keep encouraging uh, the message in all of our churches and with everyone is to not give in to anxiety and allow fear to rule our lives. The Lord is with us. We have the best minds working on this. We have the best technology and medicine of any place in the world. In fact, if a breakthrough comes, I'm sure it would be here in our states. And then we can share that also with the world to try and bring all this suffering uh, to a close, but that we stay united in faith but that also means helping each other and encouraging one another uh, through these difficult hours. And how, that's another thing. And I think people are trying to stay very positive. And when there's so much negativity around us, we see the good coming out of people. What is it that people can do from their homes? Two of the things I recommend, first of all, is to pray. We can be at home and we can pray. We can open the scriptures. We can also, with the family members, we can spend some time now because so many other events are canceled. Even, you know, the final four, we don't have any sports events to talk about. Really, this is a time for us to maybe re-engage each other in our relationships. So not only to pray, but to come to know each other again in a better way. And then the second thing is, uh, if we know there is an elderly neighbor who we could get groceries for. This might be a wonderful time to reach out to them. And also people who are in nursing homes, we might want to give them a call on the cell phone or send them a card. In other words, take an opportunity to stay connected. Bishop, I am a true believer in the power of prayer, so I will join you in that. And I appreciate this. I appreciate your time. Stay healthy, sir. I sure will. Betsy, and know that I pray for the people every day, and we pray that this will not have a long-lasting effect, and we pray for the day we can all reassemble without any restrictions, and especially for us for the celebration of Mass. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. God bless you, Betsy.